What's the story warning, Glory? What is the word, Hummingbird? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and for joining me for this review of Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 6, Episode 12, We Scott a Monster Issue. So it starts off with Stormy, and this is the aftermath of the big old fight between her mom and her aunt. And the two sisters are not trying to reconcile. They're not trying to talk to each other. Her aunt even tells Stormy, if you're going to make me talk to my sister, you're going to be bailing us out of jail tonight. So the two sisters are not seeing it for each other at all. Stormy even tells her mom, just go give her a hug. And the mom was like, how can I give somebody a hug that's walking away? Because the, the sister, she done left the building. She was gone. So that's a very sad situation. It looks like some real family issues there. Um, Stormy says that the problem is when um, her grandfather got sick, it was her mother that stepped up to the plate to take care of him, um, implying that the other siblings did not step up to the plate. And it was just her mom that took care of their father by the by herself I don't know if that's the only issue I feel like there are probably several reasons of why things are not going right between these two women but to hear Stormy tell it it started when the grandfather got sick and before that they were all extremely close the two sisters were very close with one another her and her cousin junior were very close so who knows what's going on Moving on from there, we have Martel. So he says that Melody had put the kids in therapy. Now, Martel has taken Melody to court for custody. He wants to get, um, I'm assuming, full custody of the children. And so she has taken her kids, she has put her kids in therapy, which I think is a great idea. And because the kids are in therapy, the judge ordered Martel, or maybe the judge had suggested, I don't know if the judge ordered, but the judge had suggested that maybe it's a good idea idea for the father to be in therapy as well so Martel is now seeing a therapist and um Martel says that um he has problems with his mother. There's something going on with his own mom and her babysitting the kids or not babysitting the kids when he needs her to. We really don't know, but there's some type of disconnect between him and his mom regarding the care of his children. I guess we'll find that out more later. Um, the therapist asks Martel about his father and what's that relationship like. And Martel says that his father was incarcerated for over 20 years. When he came out, him and his dad reconnected and that was played out on the show. Um, a couple of seasons ago I think when him and his dad had reconnected and now his dad has kind of drifted away again so they don't really uh, communicate that much now and the therapist was trying to imply I think that you know there's stuff that's been going on in your childhood that might have directed you or led you to where you're at today but Martel he doesn't want to put any blame on his parents he says people who do that are just using that as a cop out no no sir I disagree completely I'm not saying that we should blame our parents as if they've done something wrong because 99% of the time our parents did the best they could but how we were raised and how we were parented um, I think it does have some influence not all but some influence on how we end up being the way we are I don't think we should like if everything goes wrong in your life you have to blame your childhood absolutely not but I think that you know who we are has been shaped by how we were raised and so I don't think that he can like, I mean, your father wasn't there. Your mom did the best she could um, to hear Melody tell it. Uh, Martel's mom did not do all that she should have done with her children. But yeah, you need to like look at your childhood and look at your relationships with your parents as you were growing up, Martel, to kind of get a better of an understanding of who you are today. So Martel has a younger brother. Um, by the name of Montez and we're going to be seeing him later so the therapist suggested to Martel to kind of revisit all of his uh, familial relationships and um, I guess just to get a better understanding of who he is moving on from there we have Kimmy and Maurice y'all it used to be Marceau that used to get me so angry watching this show Marceau used to aggravate the hell out of me get my pressure up get me so agitated but now I think it's going to be be Maurice Maurice has taken over that role because the way he acted in this episode with Kimmy and Kiowa and Monster I was like Maurice this is not a good look some things you know how you parent your child and all of that maybe that should have been left off camera so we have Kimmy and Maurice so it is uh, date night with Marceau and 
uh, Letitia. And they start talking about Monster. And so Kimmy feels like Maurice does not back her up enough when she tries to discipline Monster. Now, Kimmy doesn't have a problem disciplining Monster. She doesn't have a problem telling him what to do, what he needs to do, etc. What she has a problem with is when Monster does not listen to her, she doesn't feel comfortable taking that extra step of disciplinary action and so she wants Maurice to back her up because if he hears it from his dad he's probably more likely to listen I'm not gonna say that monster doesn't have respect for Kimmy but he probably knows that Kimmy is somewhat of a softy and that he can get away with Kimmy because Kimmy is not really gonna lay down the law on him because Kimmy said this is not her child to parent like that yes she's a bonus mom yes she does love monster like he's her own but she can't really you know take that step in disciplining him when he's um, being disobedient she feels like the biological parents have to do all of that and I kind of agree with Kimmy I can understand how she feels uncomfortable like taking things away from him or I don't know giving him a whooping or something I can understand how she might feel uncomfortable with that but um Maurice does need to back her up and Maurice has this theory that the reason why Kimmy is afraid to really you know go deep and, and discipline monsters because Kimmy's worried about Kiowa and Kimmy has told him several times I understand I don't know why Maurice doesn't understand she has told Maurice several times that it's not an issue with Kiowa it's an issue with you I just need you to reinforce you know when I'm trying to discipline your son that's it it's not like I'm afraid of Kiowa I just need you to help me out but anyways here we are so Kimmy feels like Maurice doesn't back her up when it comes to disciplining um, a monster and Letitia tells Kimmy that maybe she needs to communicate with Kaiwa more why why this is her home okay this is her home why does she always have to pick up the phone and call Kaiwa when she has a monster's whole other parent living there who is Maurice who is the father who was the one that wanted monster to come live there to begin with why would she have to call Kaiwa if Maurice is right there like why does Maurice get to uh uh get away with not being a present parent he was the one that wanted monster in the home um he tried and tried and tried so he got his boy in his house so why does he have to be okay monster's here now okay Kimmy you go ahead and you finish raising him why why does she have to call Kaiwa? Call Maurice. Tell Maurice needs to step up as the father. Uh, anyways, moving on. So Maurice believes that Kaiwa um, has moved forward. I don't know. I guess from how Maurice and Kimmy got together and the hurt and the pain of all of that. He claims that Kaiwa has moved past that. And now it's time for Kimmy to move past that. Now, that's when I started getting pissed off at Maurice. Because to me... First of all, my personal opinion, which doesn't count for a hill of beans, but my personal opinion is I do believe that when Maurice and Kimmy began seeing each other, I don't think everything was resolved and over with Maurice and Kiowa. I think that there was, was some overlapping <laughs> in relationships. And I think that Kiowa was definitely hurt. Um when Maurice began seeing Kimmy whether they were still fully married or whether they were newly separated or whether they were trying to work things out I think that Kyra was still hurt when Maurice decided to move on because I don't think the relationship or the marriage was completely a hundred percent over with Kiowa so he claims and I'm assuming that's what he's talking about you know how they began seeing each other and all the emotions that were involved with all parties in the beginning of their relationship I think that's what Maurice means when he says that Kyra Kiowa has moved forward, but Kimmy has not. Like, how dare you say that about your wife? Whether she has moved forward or not, I don't think it's your place to say. And if she tells you she has, all you can do is give her the benefit of the doubt. Don't try to contradict her and put her business out there like that and trying to say, oh, she hasn't moved. Like, why would you say, why would you praise your ex-wife and moving forward and then kind of criticize your current wife for not moving forward, even though she's been telling you she has moved forward? So I thought he was a real jerk for saying that. Moving on to Martel. So his brother Montez comes over and this whole entire scene, I don't know if they're trying to introduce Montez into the show because Montez is married. So I don't know if they're trying to make a place for them, you know, like get rid of uh, 
Tiffany and Lewis and then add Montez and his wife because I didn't understand why we were watching this scene at all and it was just a scene where Montel excuse me where uh Martel was just trying to give some brotherly advice to Montez Montez he did some time I think and now he's out and he's newly married and he got a job at FedEx but I guess he wants to go into entrepreneurship and so Martel suggests that he attend the Black Expo that's being hosted by uh Latino Tisha and Marceau to get some pointers on starting your own business, etc. And he's just being a big brother and trying to lead his uh, little brother into entrepreneurship. And I don't know if they're trying to groom him to be a cast member on this show or what, but I need a little bit more personality from Montez before I can truly you know, accept him on the show. Moving on from there, we have Kimmy and Maurice. Now this scene right there put my pressure all the way up. So Kimmy and Maurice, they decide to have a family meeting with um, them two, Monster and Kiowa. Kiowa comes over. So as we're talking to Monster about his chores getting done, um, you know, they're talking, I guess it was, was it Kimmy, you know, talking about his chores and, and whatnot. Maurice got kind of upset with Monster and says, why do you look like that? And Monster was like, I mean, to me, Monster looked like any teenager, any teenager on any given day that's being reprimanded, not just by one parent, not just by two parents, but by three parents, he's being reprimanded. He looked like any other teenager who knows he's done wrong, who knows he could do better, and his parents are calling him out on it. So Maurice was like, oh, why do you look like that? And Monster was like, like what? Like you're not receiving, you're not being receptive. And Monster goes, what does that mean? And Maurice says, you're not receiving the information you're not hearing it and monster was like well I don't think there's a look for being receptive <laughs> which I was like okay maybe I don't know what Maurice expected him to look like you know and nod his head it's like yeah yeah Kimmy yeah mama I guess that's what he expected him to be like so then they start talking about his grades Kyra brought up his grades and so his grades I guess have been slipping and um uh, you know, Carl was like trying to encourage him to try to do better or something. And then Maurice ends up dismissing, uh, monster telling him to go do his homework or something so Kiowa didn't want monster to feel like they were all ganging up on him and Kiowa says that maybe monster may have feelings of missing his mom he probably has all these emotions going on you know going from one home to the other and not having his mom as present as he's used to having her and maybe he's struggling with that and so Kiowa suggested maybe he's just really missing his mom and he doesn't know how to express that and doesn't have anybody to really talk to so Maurice says he probably does does miss you because you baby him a lot and I'm trying to turn him into a man and Kimmy says in her confessional that there has to be some type of a middle ground between coddling and babying monster and then being this really strict boot camp disciplinarian that Maurice is so there's got to be like a middle ground now I don't know Maurice probably thinks that monster you know kids of today they're not like the children of yesteryears where you know you could be you could use that really strict disciplinary tactics on them kids today are very emotional and they're very very sensitive okay that's the kind of society that this is these are the kind of children that we're raising and it's not necessarily a hundred percent the parents fault it's society as well there's because you know children psychologists and teachers and people who are expertise in childhood development you know they come with this new age stuff about children um you know their feelings have to be validated and don't make children feel bad and you know everybody's a winner even if your team loses everybody gets a trophy so this is like the kind of environment that these kids are being raised in i don't think maurice really understands this so he thinks that you can raise a 2023 or 2022 kid like a 1982 kid and I don't think you really can. So uh, Maurice thinks that, you know, Kiowa coddles him and babies him. And Kiowa thinks that he's too strict. And Kimmy's like, you know, they should kind of meet in the middle somewhere. So Kimmy suggests to Maurice to spend more time with Monster. And I'm like, girl, you hit it on the damn head with that. Because I think what Maurice is expecting is he wanted his son to come live with him for whatever reason. And 
but he's not really present. And we've seen that time and time again. He's not really present because he's busy with his own, his work, his businesses, his law practice, whatever. And so it's Kimmy and Monster together all the time. And to Monster, Kimmy, as sweet as she is, is not a replacement for his mother. And he's probably not understanding, like, why am I here? Why does my dad want me here? But he doesn't spend any time with me when I could be happy with my mom. So Kimmy suggests that Maurice needs to spend more time with Monster. And Monster and Maurice says something about, oh, but I do, because you know, on the way to school we talk, and on the way back home from school we talk. And Kimmy was like, I'm not talking about when you pick him up and drop him off from school. I'm talking about real time with the boy. Like spending hours and hours and hours with him. Kimming suggests more of an emotional bond between Monster. Oh yeah. So she's expecting like Maurice to bond more with his son. Instead of just barking orders, reprimanding him, fussing at him all the time, you know, try to develop like an emotional bond and emotion, an emotional tie with your son. And I don't think Maurice knows how to do that with Monster. I don't think when he wanted his son to come live with him, I don't know if this is what he like really expected. And because it's not what he expected, I think Maurice kind of just kind of bailed out and was like, okay, Kimmy, you take care of this. You know, this isn't what I thought it was going to be with this boy. You go ahead and you take care of this. That's just my personal opinion. But let's move on from there. Now we have Stormy and Courtney. So Stormy and Courtney, I think they're on their way to dinner or something. And, you know, Stormy's talking about how she's always tried to be the peacemaker in her family. You know, how she's always wanted everybody to get along. And so I'm beginning to really question exactly when did the mom and the sister get along? Because if Stormy has been struggling for so long to get her mom and her, her mom and her aunt to get along and to get the family together, exactly when did they fall apart? because I thought when she said that my mom and my aunt they began falling apart when my grandfather got sick well when was that 20 years ago or was it like just a few years ago I assumed it was just a few years ago when they started falling apart but the way Stormy talks about how I've always wanted my family to get along I've always wanted a big family because she's an only child so she's always had this vision or this fantasy of her family you know getting along as one happy unit so when exactly the father did the grandfather get sick like it must have been like 20, 25 years ago or something like, I don't understand what's going on. And Courtney understands how she's feeling that she does want to have this family unity um, that she's been striving to get this for a long time now and just hasn't been very successful at it because her mom and her sister just don't see eye to eye. Moving on from there, we have Kimmy and Maurice again. So Kimmy suggests that therapy might be needed for Maurice and monster in Kiowa, which I thought was a very good idea to have a third party, um, a third party to be, you know, to kind of, you know, help them along instead of them who are already in it trying to solve their own problems. So Maurice says, yes, we all should go to therapy, you know, including you, Kimmy. And Kimmy's like, well, maybe it would benefit Monster more if it was him, his mom and his dad. And if I'm needed, of course, I'll, I'll show up. But I think initially it should just be y'all. And so um, Maurice um, suggests that Kimmy and Kiowa should all should get together and work out the past. Why? See, this is making me think that there's something going on behind the scenes that they're not letting the audience know because this isn't making any sense to me. How come now, all of a sudden, Maurice is obsessed with Kimmy and Kiowa getting together and talking about the past and Kimmy always relying on Kiowa to discipline his son? Like, I don't remember seeing Maurice this intent on these two women getting together. But now he's like really obsessed with it. So he suggests that Kimmy and Kiowa need, together, need to get together and work out the past. And Kimmy's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think that's really necessary. The past has already been worked out because we're living in the future now. And Maurice says, well, if you don't want to meet with her, then it just shows that you're not ready to move on, that you've never gotten over the past. I'm like, what? Okay, Maurice. First of all, this is some unnecessary nonsense. The past is the past. It's over. It's been over. I don't think it's really been affecting anybody. I don't think Kiowa is losing sleep at night thinking about Kimmy and you. I don't think Kimmy is losing sleep at night thinking about Kiowa. I don't think anybody is worried about the past but Maurice. Now, your wife, Kimmy, is going through a lot right now. Number one, she's got to raise this teenage boy. She raised her son. Okay, she completely raised her son. Now you brought your young child into the home and you're leaving her 
her to raise this young boy. Now she's got to worry about raising this teenage boy who doesn't want to listen to her. And she's got to worry about her own health situation and what she's going through with her own medical issues. And now you want to keep on talking about you need to go meet with my ex-wife and talk about the past. Why are you doing this to her? Like, why are you putting all this pressure and stress on her? So Kimmy wants to know exactly what is it that I need to get over? I'm not understanding. And Maurice says, oh, look at this tone. What's up with this tone? Maurice, are you serious? Are you really doing this to your wife who's going through cancer? Are you really doing this to her? I thought you're supposed to make her life easier, make her life better. But you're acting like a, a plum fool trying to force her to meet with Kiowa to talk about the damn past. Why? It seems like everybody has moved forward. Kiowa has remarried. You have remarried. What is the problem? Kiowa came over into your home to talk about Monster with no issues with Kimmy. They greeted each other. They talk with one another. Like, I'm not understanding why he's trying to, like, cause something, make, cause a problem when there isn't one. Anyways, I have no idea. I was completely lost with that. We'll have to wait and see what happens next week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it on your way out. Please don't forget to rate the video if you like this content. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll definitely talk to you later. Bye.